Hannah E. with Big County Preps BCP 360 sitting here with former Tampa Bay Tech fullback Maurice Higgins, now currently playing at University of Miami. So, how do you, how do you like it down in Miami? I actually love it in Miami. Like, it's a perfect fit for me. It's like, a great offense I can be productive in. Like, it's a great environment. Did you redshirt your freshman year? No, I actually played in five games. So I can be rich. Did you earn your starting spot, or are you starting yet, or? I'm not starting. I'm actually still fighting for the position. So when I go through camp this this home summer, hopefully I do well enough for the good starting job. Now Tampa Bay Tech just recently had a head coaching position change, and I know when you were at Tampa Bay Tech, Coach Roberts really helped you out. So. I mean, what do you have to say to the players that are there now about Coach Roberts? I can say that he's gonna he's gonna be a great coach for them. Like he's gonna help them in any way he possibly can. He's gonna be like a mentor for them. So like I hope like they just need to take advantage of that and like really look up to them. So you think he was the best person for the job? Oh, well, of course. I don't see anybody else taking. It. I mean, now, out of, you know, all the players at Tech, I know your brother plays there, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, how do you help him out? How do I, well, I, I'm not really down here to see him practice, but when I do come and see him practice, I just tell him, like, to play faster because, like, that's what football is about, speed. And like, I just tell him, like, keep his mind, like, just stay focused when he's playing, don't get frustrated, I don't, I don't let people take him out his game. Now, how are you going to kind of weigh on where he goes to college? Does he want to follow in your footsteps? I'm pretty sure he wants to because, you know, I'm his older brother and, like, he, he like, looks up to yeah, you. He looks up to me. But hopefully, like, he, he's going to do what he want to do, so like, I really can't tell him where to go and where not to go. Are you going to help him, though, when it comes down to it? You know, give him advice? Oh, of course. I'm gonna, if he calls, like, if he needs help, he can call. You know, he can call me anytime he wants. So, like, I'm gonna help him regardless. How often does he go down to watch you play? Every time, every chance he gets, he come down. He was down to two of my three spring games, and like he's seen, I gave him a pair of gloves and stuff like that. So, now, how do, how does your family feel about you being in Miami? Well, they love it because when they when they went on my official with me, they loved all the coaches and like they just. And, like, they get to come to all the home games. How did you know that was going to be the right place for you? I, it was the summer going into my senior year, and I took an unofficial there. And, like, I met with the president that day, the head coach, my position coach, and, like, it just felt like home. So now, if you could go back to Tech and talk to the players now, what's one piece of advice you would give them? I would tell them to get their grades. That is the most important thing because the colleges, they see your footage, they see your film, but if you don't have the grades, they can't really do nothing with you. So now, out of all the kids that graduated with you, you know, your year in Hillsborough County, do you keep in contact with any of those players? I keep in contact with Gregory Hickman and Charles Davis. That's not, from my team, that's only time I really keep in contact with because Greg, he's at FIU, and Charles, he's at Quincy University. Do you play up against any other former Hillsborough County players? I played against Lindsey Lamar and um, Terrence Mitchell when they played at USF. That's my team. How, how did it feel going up against them? It was like, it was like I played against them in high school, and I'm playing against them in college, so like, it was something different. Like, it was cool. But it brought back memories of playing yeah. in high school. Mm -hmm. um, well, it was nice having you here. Oh, We're so you. glad you came to visit. Yeah, I always got to come back to town. You got to hook BCP up with some Miami tickets? Hopefully. Because, I, <laughs> I mean, I'll drive down. <laughs> so, and I know Willie will drive down. We'll, we'll all take a road trip. We'll take a BCP road trip. Uh, <laughs> just to come see you. Hopefully. Come support you. Yeah. And Chicola is joining you, actually, next yes. year. I didn't get to play against him in high school because remember he had that injury. Yeah. So Have you talked to him? I talked to him. He came. I think he came, he came out to the spring game. I talked to him. He comes down whenever he gets a chance. And we just 
do you give him advice and, you know, like, kind of let him know what's going on so that when he goes down there? Yeah, I, tell, I just tell him, like, just stay focused. The coaches don't, nobody plays, like, be like. It's different from high school. Yeah, they're assets to the team, so they just kind of do the coaches say. And he's got a lot riding on his yes. shoulders because he's a third generation. Yes. But are you going to help him once he comes down of there? Course, of course. You know, you, you got to keep Hillsborough County, yes. right? Yes. Well, it was good talking to you.